So, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Mr. Dumbbox, and I'm back again with another video. And um, here's just a handy little hint and tip. And if it's it, it's going to interest uh, quite a few different people, I think. Um, novices out there uh, probably won't know about it, and it uh, it took a little bit of Google uh, for me to finally fix it. Um, I had an issue where having installed, I previously had an installation of Windows 7 on this computer and then jumping to Windows 8.1 um, to give it a go and then going back again to Windows 7. I had an issue where when I booted up my system I would essentially have two operating systems listed even though only one was installed, Windows 7. But there's the file that essentially tells your computer which operating system to boot into, the boot.ini file. Um, had a listing for Windows 8.1. And this continued when I moved to Windows 10 today. So I decided to do some Googling and I, I found a way to do it. Unfortunately, the one listing, or the one listed way to do it, is not available in Windows 10. And I'll show you right now what I mean. So if you literally go to Control Panel in Windows 10, this is, and go to System, I'm probably doing this the long way around. But it's the way I know. So you go to System, Advanced System Settings, Startup and Recovery here. You'll see if you've got multiple operating systems installed or had them installed and you're having this issue. You'll see that you'll have, say, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10. In my case, I previously had Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 as a operating system available to boot into even though only Windows 10 was actually installed on my C drive. <coughs> now, in earlier versions of Windows, so that's, I believe, Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, you could essentially click Edit and then directly delete the uh, extra listing of an operating system. Unfortunately, in Windows 10, this doesn't appear to be available. So if we just exit out of this, we don't need to do anything here now. If we go to Run, and type in msconfig, we get the system configuration menu. Now, here in the boot tab, obviously I've only got one operating system installed, but before I had a listing for Windows 8.1. You, yours may differ, you could have XP to Windows 7, etc. Now, selecting on the additional operating system you want to remove, um, highlighting it, so in my case Windows 8.1, click Delete, click OK, restart your computer, and then my system booted directly into Windows 10. This dramatically reduced the time it took for my system to load. Um, I didn't have an additional menu to go through or something else, more time to wait um, for my, my own computer to decide to boot into the available operating system. <coughs> Um, I just thought it'd be a handy little video for you guys and I like to do these little things where I give information and try and help people out So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll probably do something in regards uh, Windows 10 um, at a later date um, I've not really had much chance uh, to use it. It's only been a couple of hours really But yet again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one